My name is Emily Francis, and I am an author, an American author now living in the Mediterranean, specifically on the island of Malta. In 2020, we packed up our children, four animals, and sold our home, sold our cars, and jumped a plane and came to an island we had never so much as visited in 2020 during the worldwide pandemic and lockdown. That is how I learned how to push beyond my comfort zone and create a life worth relishing. Five ways to grow past your comfort zone, both personally and professionally. Number one, ask yourself very clear questions. The question I want you to ask is, what is the life you want to create that is going to feed your soul? What we do in our work and what we do in our life, they're not the same thing, but they need to complement each other. So be very, very clear. Also, once you ask that question, I want you to ask yourself the follow-up question, what are you willing to do to get it? Number two, layer the flavors. Everything that has ever happened to you in your life contributes to the recipe for your life. But what's there right now, that's the past. It can stay, but what's the dish you really want? And then we start to layer with intention those next flavors so that you get a dish that doesn't look like the original. You turn it into something decadent. You turn it into something fantastic. This is where you have the power to create a dish that is truly sublime. And the side courses, those are the people you keep around you. So make sure they all complement that new dish. Number three, timing or thyme? Both. We want to use the herb thyme. It's special from the Mediterranean. It's protected all around here. And it helps to make a dish savory and sweet. So we always want to bring thyme in. And it's steeped in tradition and protection. Now, timing is actually the most important part of all of this. You have to go with the flow of timing, not against it, not resisting. Think about when you were a child on the playground and you would try to double dutch jump rope. You have to wait until both of the ropes are open with this opening and you've got to catch the rhythm. Jump in and keep hopping. Go with the flow of timing. Number four, share your meals. Meals were never meant to be eaten alone, and that's the same with keeping a community, both professionally and personally, that is the driving force that is really important. You have to have a team around you that will make your goals and dreams come alive. And finally, number five, celebrate the harvest. Don't just celebrate the harvest once you accomplish the final goal. No, no, no. Here's what I learned in the Mediterranean. They celebrate each harvest. They celebrate when the first farm is free of the different fruits and vegetables. And then they go to the next place and they celebrate the next farm. And that's how we celebrate and make room for more blessings to come our way. And a practice of gratitude will change your life. So I'm Emily Francis. Like I said, I'm an author. I have a new book, The Taste of Joy, Mediterranean Wisdom for a Life Worth Savoring. And I hope these five tips help you grow past your comfort zone.